I'm Jen from Lighthearted. So I was recently at one of my favorite local vintage shops and I was looking for new nightstands for my guest room and found these that were $30 a piece. And I really wanted to give them a facelift. So I'm gonna show you how to kind of revamp these using chalk paint. And the great thing about chalk paint is that it's super easy to use, it's eco-friendly, it has no odor, and it's gonna give you kind of this velvety matte finish. So let me show you how I updated these nightstands. So in order to get started, I'm just gonna take the handles uh, off this nightstand because I actually wanna spray paint them gold. So I'm just gonna spray paint this gold. Just wanna give an update to that kind of brass. So the great thing about using this chalk paint is that you um, don't have to do a lot of prep work. Um, really, none at all. So no sanding, no nothing needed. The only thing I'm gonna do is that they, I do have a little kind of rivets and little um, cuts kind of into this nightstand. So I'm just gonna fill those in, but otherwise that's the only thing you need to do in order to prep for painting. I've got um, some wood filler that I picked up. So I'm just gonna kind of fill these in. And using my little putty. So you're gonna let that putty dry for a little bit and then we're gonna just sand off the top. But while we wait, I'm gonna start to paint. So I'm gonna take out this drawer and kind of show you guys how really easy it is to use this chalk paint. <clears throat> so I've decided to go with graphite. It's this really kind of dark blue gray slate color and dark furniture is really trending right now in home decor and I just, I kind of love the dark pieces. It's a good contrast too. Um, I feel like a lot of the stuff in my house is white so I kind of like this, this, this variation. In order to get started, you're gonna use kind of like a bristle brush that they recommend. Um, the bristle brush is gonna give you a little bit more texture um, and kind of those streaks and lines in your furniture if that's what you like. If not, you can totally use um, a roller or a softer brush and that'll kind of give you that more smoother kind of finish for it. So the great thing about using um, the bristle brush too is that it'll help really kind of get into those lines or kind of creases that you may have in the furniture, those kind of really, those details. It's gonna take you about two coats. I'm just gonna paint this. And you really wanna make sure that you don't have a lot of excess paint left in those kind of creases, so that's why you really wanna get in there and brush through it um, with the bristle. So as I was painting this, the wood putty dried, so I'm just going to take my sander and you're just gonna kind of brush away any excess that was. And then you can kind of see, as soon as you paint over that, it's gonna be all nice and smooth. So you can see how nicely um, the wood filler worked on filling those little lines or those rivets that were in there and how good the paint kind of coats over it. So I've got the second nightstand all ready to go. My second coat of paint is on and it's dry. Now I'm gonna show you how to distress it to kind of add a little bit more of that kind of shabby chic look to it. Um, the manufacturer says to uh, put a layer of the wax on and then go over it with sandpaper and distress it. But the lady we actually purchased the paint from said to actually distress it first with some sandpaper and then add the wax. So I'm gonna try that technique. Um, and all I'm gonna do is use a little sand block. The best part about this is that it's like super easy. And the easiest way to do it, and what I find, is to kind of find where your edges are. And then that's kind of where you're gonna really get that sandpaper in. So I'm gonna go right along and just kind of start to take some of that paint off. You can um, use a bristle brush when applying the wax and then it helps to get into those little kind of nooks and crannies that you have in there. And then you can use the cloth to kind of wipe away any excess um, wax that may be left on the furniture. So 
you guys can see how easy it is to use the chalk paint in order to refinish some furniture. I definitely have it on my to-do list to update a few more pieces around my house. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. And for more DIY and home decor tips, make sure you subscribe to my channel and follow me on IamLikeHearted.com.